I'm now standing at the huge square of the front door of the British Museum. Actually, behind us, we can see that is the front gate of the British Museum. Looks like an ancient Greek temple. Because the architect, his name is Robert Smirk. He is a great fan of ancient Greek culture. Let's see what he designed. This kind of style is called a Greek Revival style because Robert's work had been many times to Athens, have some lots of sketches of Athens' Parthenon temple. And this really looks like an ancient Greek temple. They have these very beautiful columns called Ionic columns supporting a triangle space. Let's see inside this triangle space, which is called a pediment. There are many sculptures telling a story in a very abstract terms about the development of human civilization. Let's have a look, start from the far end, far left end of this triangle. What we can see is a human crowd from these rocks and wild animals. If we look closely, we can see the head of crocodile and a bear. And this means the human being uh, in the prehistoric period called the Neolithic period. And human did not want to stay with the wild animal and the rocks. And he crawled out of it. And there is an angel kneel down welcoming him, handing him a golden lamp of intelligence. And because the enlightenment of the intelligence and humans start to work. And the next two figures, one is a hunter, another is a farmer. And after that, you can see some female image. They are not human anymore. They are the goddess of art. The first one sitting down, holding a lula, and behind her is an ancient Doric style column and she is the goddess of architecture. The second one sitting down, he, she has a hammer on her right hand side, right hand, and she is the goddess of sculpture. The next one standing is the goddess of the painting. In the middle of this pediment, there is the goddess of science because she's holding the globe and in front of her left feet and there is a scientific instrument over there. Next to her there is only one god of the art and he resting and we can see underneath there is some triangle geometric pattern and actually he is the goddess of mathematics and the geometrics. And Next to him, there is a goddess holding a mask, and she is the goddess of drama. Ancient drama start from ancient Greek, and they have comic, and every different kind of actors wearing different masks present their roles in the dramas. And then next to her, there's two goddesses sitting down. They both have relationship of musical instrument. The first one, holding a very little lyra instrument, he, she is the goddess of music. And the next one is the goddess of poetry. And in the old time, uh, the poet not only recite the poem, they using the musical instrument to sing the poem to the general public. That's why she is representative of the goddess of poetry. Beside this goddess and the god of art. Now the human appeared again. He is no longer the humble man and thousands of years ago. After the enlightenment from the poetry, drama, sculpture, painting, he became a really well-educated man and living in a harmonious society. And the wild animals comes again, but this time very tamed, like the pet of the human being. And the human being really uh, stands out in this world, become the governor of our blue planet. Uh, this is a very abstract story of the development of human civilization.